Hello Mouses. It's an odd day today. I've woken up late because I'm in so much pain now set through my alarm. And we have so much to do, but I'm going to do a day in the life because every year we seem to do one around this time, sometimes earlier. And this year is no exception, but because I slept in a little bit, I'm actually technically late for work now, even though I am self-employed. I do like to try and keep to a 9 to 5 schedule. So I suppose I'd better get a move on. Anyway, let's start the day. Hi, we've had a burglary recently out. If you've seen my show or Jennifer's show, you'll know what's happened. But the police have just been and have returned some things. They're, unfortunately, the thieves have used gloves while examining the stuff that they've taken. So there are no prints. So at the moment, we've got no nothing to go on apart from the description that I gave of one of the burglars that returned. But they've brought back a lot of uh, stuff, so we'll have a look at that now. And as you can see, it's a lot of trains, locomotives and carriages for them, but everything is damaged. Everything. They've rifled through it like the drug crazed bastards that they are and have damaged just about everything that they've taken. So now we've got to match all of this stuff up with the boxes of the things that were stolen. I mean, so like this this is, is gone. We just don't know what's happened to it. It hasn't been returned. So we don't know what's going on, but this is just a small selection of the boxes that we have to go through. So basically, Jen and I now have to make a database of everything that's been taken, everything that's been damaged on the turn, and everything that is just completely missing. So that's going to take a few days, but at least it will eventually get done, and the insurance can basically pay out for what we haven't got anymore, and what has been damaged to the point where it needs replacing, which is... Ugh, I am trying my best to keep calm, let's put it that way. But it's aggravating at the very least. It's, I'm, I was this close to catching them. Because on the second time, I was actually in the room just next to the garden when they broke in and it was like minutes, but they've damaged everything. Okay, now that the police and the insurance assessors and the people for the new alarm system have all been had a look talked to us and gone, I can actually get on with what I was supposed to be doing today, which is, of course, writing some articles, doing the comics and making the videos. We have two videos to make today, the daily show and, of course, the Monday book club, because it's Monday. And we're going to do those in a minute. I can't do the Monday book club at the moment because the library setup that we have is right next to where some reinforcement is being done on the train room where Jennifer's show is recorded. So all of that is making a lot of noise and the reason you can't hear it is because this room is set and partly soundproofed so that I can make these videos. But the setup that we have for the library for the Monday Book Club is right next to where they're doing a lot of work, so we can't do it there. So I'm going to start the day. Instead of doing the videos, we're going to start with the comics and we'll see how that goes. Okay, the setup for the comics is fairly straightforward. We have the main computer here, which we'll be running Photoshop on in a moment. And underneath my diary here, we have a graphics tablet, it's a Wacom Intuos 4 which is pretty good for what we're doing because it gives us a lot of control, it's got some buttons on the side that unfortunately don't properly work in Linux so I have to use the keyboard instead which is down here and actually has very few visible <laughs> letters left on it because it's quite old and I wear it out. You'll notice from that that it's Norwegian rather than English but we use it anyway. And this is the MacBook that I use to basically for Skyping people during the day while I'm working on comics and for watching videos and things like that. Basically keeping myself from being bored. So let's load up Photoshop and we'll get started.
Okay, while we've been doing the comic, I've had to stop a few times because police turned up with more information about the burglaries that have happened and other people have phoned up, people keep asking what's going on and as a result, it is now starting to get dark outside. It's probably just because it's overcast out there and it's going to rain but it means that we're going to lose the light if I don't start getting some videos done very quickly. So what I'm going to have to do now is, we've done one comic, we should have been able to do a few more but it looks like we're not going to be able to get Ink Proof Cannon back today. It'll have to be tomorrow at the very earliest. We might be able to get Knob Mouse done before the evening, but we'll see. But I have to get these videos done. So now, because it's Monday, we've got to work out what we're doing with the daily show. But Mondays is usually uh, legal news. We've got to find out whether there's any legal news. So what I'm going to do now is go on the internet and have a look around, see what's been happening in law. And then we'll put out a video about that if we can find anything. If we can't, then I'll talk about something else that's in the news. But ideally, it will be a legal thing. So let's go and have a look at what's on in law news. Well, yesterday we kind of ran out of time to work because people came around. And that's perfectly fine. It's good to see people. It was a very good night. But it didn't mean I didn't get everything done that I wanted to. And today I have had a lot of uh, time taken up by other things. We've had the insurance people. No, not insurance. What was it? The alarm people. They're coming back. They're installing new alarm systems for the train area and the entire house to be honest, we're going to rewire and I've also been down to a local uh, Conservative Party office to help out there so it's been a busy day so given everything that's gone on I'm thinking it, it's probably time I just had a day off to rest and recuperate so that's what I'm going to do now so that'll be fun. Hello again Miles is right we're going to go and film the first of Jen's new set of shows after the burglary and the vandalism of her train room. So let's go and do that now, that's going to be interesting. And then, to be honest with you, I think after that I'm probably just going to have the night off because we've had so much going on. And we'll see how I go in the morning. Okay, Jen, we're going to do some filming for your train thing because of the vandalism we've got to start again. What? How do you feel about that? Because I know that I'm still quite shaken over it. Um, I feel like my own personal space has been violated. Um, you know, that was my little retreat from the world and I've had scum break in and just destroy what has been over a year's worth of work. Okay, it's day three. I still haven't done a show yet this week, so I've really got to push for that now. That's what we're going to do after I finish talking to you now. I've just been at the door. Some guy came to my door wanting the reward for giving information that leads to the prosecution of the burglars that we have. We had two burglaries. We put up a reward notice. The rewards notice specifically says contact the police. If the information given to the police leads to a prosecution, then we can give the reward. That's the deal. This guy turned up at my house. My house information isn't on this reward notice. Everything points to the police. But he turns up at my house wanting to know about the rewards. Like, what the hell? How did you get my address for a start? But who does that? What kind of guy does that? And then when I said, well, the police are dealing with everything. So oh, I, I don't want to do it through the police. So well, what use are you to me? Any information that is given to me becomes hearsay the moment that's given to me. I can't give it to the police because then someone told me who told them, where's the line? What point is that? You can't do that. The point that it becomes information that's passed to me then to them, the information is lost. Details disappear. I can't get a trace back to who this guy is. I don't know him from Adam. I th he could be anyone. For all I know, he's one of the burglars. And he's just casing the joint. I don't know this. So, what am I supposed to do with that? But now, because the second time that the burglary happened, we had people come to the door at random. Now I think, well, is he actually the burglar casing the joint again? Making sure that someone's in or out? I don't know. So, what do I do with that? So I phoned the police anyway and gave all the details and gave a description of the guy and where he was and at what time. So we'll see what happens from that. But for goodness sake, if he wanted to genuinely give information that led to the prosecution, he could have given it to the police and done it anonymously. But he didn't. He came to my house. And that is just not acceptable. Anyway, I've got to work out what I'm supposed to be doing for today's video because I can't have another day where I haven't done the video. It's my work. I can't forsake my work for three days just because my time gets monopolised by people who should know better. For goodness sake. Oh, I am so angry at the moment. Anyway, talking about things that I've been doing. 
I have, I've just been down to the Conservative Party uh, office again today, this morning, to deal with some more stuff that was going on there. So that's progressing. We're getting a lot of good work done there. So at least I have actually done something of use today. So that makes me feel a bit better. But I'm really knocked off by this guy coming to the door. It's angered me because what am I supposed to do with this? So basically all he's trying to say, oh, I know something you don't know. It's no use to me. But anyway... Let's just put it aside and get on with our lives. Okay, let's try and work out what I'm supposed to do for today's video. It's Wednesday, that's Strange Laws Day, so I'm going to look up on the computer now. Strange Laws, but first of all, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I've got my pot, which is a great, this is fantastic. My mother gave it to me as a present. It's a teapot and a teacup. I just think that is so fantastic. But I'm going to have a cup of tea while I research the strange laws that we're going to have for today's video. And then I'm going to film. Okay, so I'll see you. So I'll leave it there. 